Today, we're gonna to talk about UX and SEO and how they work together to create conversion events on your website. Listen, if you are spending time creating any kind of content, it is absolutely well worth it to think about not only whether your content can be found via Google, hugely important if you are managing a website, and number two, that when people find you through Google, that what they expected to find on your website is there. And what I mean by that is we lean in and think about the user on the other side of the screen and the query that got them to our digital doorstep. This is where search intent comes into play. And it's one of the most overlooked pieces of the SEO puzzle, but I would posit that it is also a huge, huge key to having a quality user experience on your site. And when you meet search intent, you can create conversion events. So what I want to encourage you to do is stick with me through some of these nitty gritties so that we can get to the bottom line of why a informational query is the do you want to get a cup of coffee of the digital world and how transactional queries are kind of like the Tinder of the digital world. I'll get us there, I promise, but before we go, I wanna make sure that I'm really clear about the words I'm using so that you understand. I want everybody who's shown up here on my digital doorstep to understand what I'm talking about. A search query is just the words that people type into Google. If you're already with me there, no worries. This will get more technical, I promise. So what people type into Google indicates something about what they're looking for, as you might imagine. Search intent, speaks to one of the four ways that people are searching, one of the four main things people are searching for. Sometimes it's navigational, which means that they simply wanted my website, so they typed in Lauren Gagioli into the search bar instead of typing laurengagioli.com into where you type in the URL. The second type is informational. What is organic marketing? That they might have typed into the search bar, and that's just, Help me, I don't know what that is. I need to understand it. Commercial is something like, that shows a, a commercial intent, shows that somebody's interested in buying, but maybe they aren't ready to buy yet. They're in the research phase. So something like organic marketing course reviews. That would be something that somebody's looking for, you know, somebody to compare different courses. And the fourth type is transactional, like organic marketing course. That person doesn't wanna do the research, they don't wanna compare, they wanna to go to the source. And hopefully, we have our sales pages set up to receive that traffic, depending on what it is we do. So these are the four types of queries, but for the purposes of user experience and SEO, I want us to focus on two. I want us to focus on informational and transactional. And what I mean by that is that we are gonna not be thinking about people who are in the research phase. We're not gonna be thinking about people who already know who we are. We're gonna be thinking about people who have questions or who know they wanna buy something, and how we welcome them onto our site. So if someone searches, what is organic marketing? I have a pillar page on my website set up to welcome people. And on that page, there's an aggregate of all the organic marketing content that I've ever created. And I keep it there so that it becomes this lightning rod to Google, because that's a really broad question. However, if someone searches organic marketing course, that might lead them to my organic marketing ecosystem page. That is my online course that helps entrepreneurs learn how to do SEO. So if I have these two sort of different kinds of queries, you can see that thinking about the buyer on the other side of the screen or thinking about the searcher on the other side of the screen, they're expecting different things. One person is looking for something they're probably gonna have to pay for. They probably already have their credit card in hand. They're just trying to find the right match. On the other hand, that informational query is someone who's just curious. And so what happens when we meet people who have these informational queries and we show up and give them a little bit of information and then bait and switch them and try and pitch them something immediately. Try and get them to go find their credit card and trust us when they only just met us two seconds ago. It's kind of like showing up on the doorstep naked at a first date. 
probably gonna send that person running and screaming in the other direction. However, if you show up, you say, hey, here's all this information that I have, I would love to share it with you. I'd love to help you create transformation and, and get an answer to the question you asked and take you to the question beyond that and really support you as you go through. That's kind of the, can I buy you a cup of coffee of the digital world? And that's where free opt-ins come in. If you meet informational queries and you say, hey, I see you asked this question. It's a great question. Let me help tee you up with some of the pre, pre-information you might need. I'm not going to assume you know anything kind of like I did at the beginning of this video. And then I'm gonna walk you through what goes on here. And then at the end, after you have all that new information, I'm gonna offer you something free because you just showed up and I, you know, I, I wonder if maybe we're like a good fit. And then you provide something of value, right? Something that genuinely has value, but also is in alignment with the next right step that somebody who had a question, had that question answered, what that next right step would be for that person in that moment. If you wanna know about organic marketing and you come to my website and you learn a little bit more and you click through to any of the posts that are aggregated there, I'm gonna serve up my free three-part mini course, the DIY website audit. It is totally free because if you're curious about organic marketing, that means you're also sneaky curious about SEO and I can support you by helping you benchmark where you are right now with your website. On the other hand, if you came through that transactional door, you are looking for an organic marketing course, that's kind of the Tinder of the digital world. You better show up naked, right? That person wants the goods. They wanna know what they are dealing with so they can know if you are worthy of trusting with their money, but more importantly, with their time. So you better explain not only what they'll get in terms of the benefits, but also actually the deliverables, like what specifically comes with this course. You better have buy now buttons so that once they decide, oh yeah, this is the right fit for me, they can lean in and buy right away. You wanna have video, because if my voice is nails on a chalkboard to you, you better know before you get into a video course that I lead, <laughs> that would be torture. There's also the need to have your refund policies clearly stated, any frequently asked questions on that page, any bonuses and their value should be listed. Leave no stone unturned, show up naked and let people buy when they already showed up to your website with a transactional query and a credit card in hand. When you meet search intent, you allow the possibility of a conversion event. And whether you send people through door number one of just, hey, come get on my email list. I have something really valuable for you. That is a transaction in and of itself. You get something of value too. However, on the other side, you might be able to make a sale right away from somebody who didn't even know about you 10 minutes before they landed on that site through a transactional query. So there's two doors that people can go through and whether or not they choose to go through them often has to do with what you're dishing up. Don't show up naked on the first date and don't withhold and hide information that's absolutely relevant to someone deciding whether or not they want to work with you. They want to buy from you for the love. Please put your prices on your sales pages. Cause if you don't, you are gatekeeping your sales in a way that is not actually serving you. Don't make me give you my email address to find out how much it's gonna cost me to work with you, right? That's stupid. That person showed up and wanted to buy and you are blocking it. So being really clear about the paths that you're sending people down and being clear about what they want has to do with understanding that search intent and meeting it fully as the person they found through organic search. So that's the whole shoot and match. That's kind of what I teach through organic marketing ecosystem. However, you came here wanting to know about UX and SEO, that is an informational query. And so of course, I'm going to invite you to join the DIY website audit. If that sounded interesting to you, when I was saying like, this is what I walk you through, I give you some free tools that are out there on the, on the internet for you to use to up your SEO game, if that sounded interesting to you, I would love to see you in that course. I would love to support you as you explore more. So head on over to laurengaggioli.com forward slash DIY audit, and I'll see you in the program.